Hey everyone, how you doing today? Brian from Hank's Belts here. Today I'm going to give you a little quick tips and tricks video on our Chicago screws that we use in the construction of our belt. I'm going to give you a couple tips, tell you why we use them, why they're better than snaps. Uh, so come on over here, I'm going to put the belt down and give you a few tips, tricks, and uh, go over this with you. Okay, so here we got one of our belts. And all of our belts have a construction where the buckle, this part, is held on with Chicago screws. Now we use Chicago screws because if you sew it, um, you can't remove the buckle. You know, you can't change it if you want. And also, a lot of times when you sew it, the stitching eventually can, from stress here, it will, you know, if you have any issues with it where it comes loose or something, um, you can't repair the belt without having specialized equipment. Nice things with the screws. Anybody can, anybody can repair the belt. You can change your buckle if you want. Uh, so it makes them a lot more sturdier. Snaps, uh, we don't use snaps. Again, if you have an issue with a snap, if a snap ever breaks, um, you need specialized tools to put that back into the belt. And sometimes if the hole or you don't have the exact snap, it can actually can't be repaired. And also snaps eventually wear out over time and they won't stay closed. So screws are the best. They solve the problem. Now, a couple of tips here. Um, every once in a while, uh, people, they want to change the buckle and the screw, they can't get it undone. When I say they can't get it undone, it just spins on the, uh, the back side. Some of our belts have slotted on both sides. In that case, you can just put a screwdriver, uh, in each side and take it off. But if you have, uh, one that's flat on this side and it spins and it won't come loose, you can just use a piece of tape. Use a piece of scotch tape, duct tape, whatever. You just want to take that. And then you will take it onto the belt here and you'll put it this way across the screw in the belt and press it down. And what that's going to do, that's going to hold that while you turn the other side. So then you can flip it over, firmly push your finger onto that, onto that screw, push and hold, and then take your screwdriver at the same time and turn it and it will bust that screw loose every single time. And it will uh, come right out for you. There you go. And that will always get them loose all the time. Now, it might leave a tiny little mark on the belt when you pull the tape off. Just rub it with your finger and uh, it will blend right back in and disappear. Now, another thing, uh, every once in a while, people say their screws come loose. Now, we do recommend you periodically check your screws for tightness. But if you aren't ever going to change the buckle and uh, you want to have the screws secure so that they won't come out, take this part of it. And I don't have any here right now with me, uh, but you just take this part right here, the uh, screw part, and before you put it in the post, you brush some clear nail polish on those threads. So you'll uh, you'll brush uh, clear nail polish on the threads, and uh, then you will immediately after you do that, before it dries, uh, then you can just go ahead and reassemble the belt after you brush the clear nail polish on it. And again, your your tape will work also to help snug things up. You can take a piece of tape. Again, same thing as using is taking it off. You just put the piece of tape over like that, and then that will hold, and you can torque the screw down tighter. Uh, just be warned, again, if you put the clear nail polish on, it makes it a little bit harder to, to get off, and you'll almost always have to use the tape. But if you put the tape on, it will hold it so that you can snug it up also. So uh, there you go. Hope those couple tips of why we use the Chicago screws. And... Uh, how to get them off and how to secure them. Hope that helps you a bit. All right, so there you go. Uh, just some tips and tricks on our Chicago screws, why we use them. Hope the video helps you out a little bit. Be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button down there. Follow this channel here for all the great videos I got coming up for you. And again, my name is Brian from Hank's Belts. Uh, appreciate you taking a look, and I'll be talking to you again soon.